In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a Photobabble. Photobabble is a great tool for adding a voiceover to any photo or image. It is a simple tool to use and is one of my standard tools for capturing student voice in the classroom. Once you have logged in, it is a simple process to create a new Photobabble. Simply click on the large orange Create New button. I'm going to upload an image from my computer first by clicking on the Browse button and selecting the image I want from my computer. When I have chosen my image, I then click on the Create button and the image will be uploaded to Photobabble. Photobabble allows you to upload an image from your computer, access your Facebook albums or import from the internet. My image has now been uploaded to Photobabble. I am now ready to record my message. To record my message, I have to click on the record button. When I do this, an Adobe plugin appears asking permission to access the microphone on my computer. I have to click allow. If you do not see this pop-up message yourself, the action has been blocked by your network administrator or filtration service. It will need to be allowed in order for Photobabble to work. Photobabble has now recorded my message. I can review this message and re-record if I wish. In the space below, I can give my Photobabble a name and then save the project. If you want, you can add a theme to your Photobabble. A unified theme is a good idea if you want to use the slideshow feature at a later point. And I will explain how to do this in another tutorial. Here you can see what my chosen theme looks like when added to my Photobabble image. It is not necessary to add tags to your photobabbles or to number them if you are simply going to embed individual photobabbles into your blog, LMS, wiki or website. However, if you want to create slideshows then using tags and sequential numbers is vital. I'm now going to import an image from the internet to make my next photobabble. I need to find the URL of an image. I have already opened up another tab and have searched for some images in Google and now I click on my chosen image I need to select the middle button view original image and when this single image loads I have to copy the web address from the browser bar and then paste it into here in Photobabble and click on the create button. Now that I have imported my chosen image from the internet to make my next Photobabble it is a simple case of recording my voice once again and again allowing the Adobe plugin to run. Once I've recorded my voice I will give my project a name. Next I will add the same tag to this photo babble as the last one but I will number the slide as slide 2. Again this is only important if you want to use the slideshow feature of photo babble. Finally I will add the same theme to my photo babble as the one I created earlier. In the coming Photobabble tutorials, I will show you how to embed a Photobabble into a wiki or a blog. I will also show you how to make the slideshow. And finally, I will make an iOS tutorial for the app version. So once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more tutorials. And in the meantime, keep practicing.